Okay, let's, uh, let's proceed ahead with the solution here. So you can see, first of all, what you need to do is to read the file in read and plus, which is the write mode. Okay, read and write mode. Once you read the file and assign it a name as a file object here, file. So you have to read the lines. So we are using read lines because we can see clearly that all the elements, all the numbers are present in a separate line. So read lines would be an ideal method to read this data. So once we use this method, read lines, it will fetch all the elements and put them in a list called data. And every element is now a list element separately. But the problem here is that the data contains the list of all the elements, but all of them are of a string type. So initialize the variable sum equals zero for value in data. So we are looping through, we are iterating through all the elements in data. So for the first time, the first value is fetched and will be assigned to a variable named value. And then we convert that value into integer before, um, before assigning it to a variable named sum, okay? So sum plus equal means sum equals sum plus whatever the value is. So initially sum was zero. So this is how we can iterate through all the elements in data, convert them into integer, and add them into a sum, okay? So sum of all the values are now evaluated. Now we have to calculate the average. So sum divided by length of data will give us an average. Now this average is a floating point value. Whatever we need to write into the file has to be converted into a string. So here we are actually converted, converting it into a string and assigning it to average variable. You could have just simply passed the same thing here directly. This is an additional step here. So you convert it into a string first, and then, and you also have to append it as an average equals, okay? So that's, that's the reason why. This is not an optional uh, statement here, because you have to append the data as average equals, and then whatever the value of the average is. Okay, so this is entire string. And then you write this value, and then in the end, you close the file, okay? So I have it written here. Um, it's an old version. So if I, so this, the same code is written here. Let's say it's R plus is the correct mode. And now let me run Python 3. And this is activity. I have it saved with the activity number two. And you can see this is the file that I'm reading, data.txt. When I run this, sorry, it actually appends it like this. So this was supposed to be the file. And there you go. Average equals 2.3335 as, um, as a string is added at the end of the file. Okay, so 